Hi, this is Ebony, and in this tutorial, we will explore ways to efficiently grade student work and use the features in Google Classroom to provide students with timely and meaningful feedback on assignments. Let's start by clicking on the Grades tab. Here you'll see that it looks similar to a traditional gradebook with student assignments, a place for student grades to be found, and student name. One thing you want to think about before you even start grading is to make sure that you have um, scheduled time for grading and giving feedback to return student work in a timely manner. Then share that schedule with your students so that they have an idea of when to check grades so you don't get daily emails about graded work. You also need to determine your workflow for reviewing student work because Google Classroom allows you some different options when it comes to grading. So we're going to start by tapping on the assignment. When you tap on that assignment, it's going to take you into the student work tab. Here you can click on the student work by name. You can access all the student work in the Google Drive folder, or you can tap on it underneath the students tab. We're going to go, you can also look here and you have a drop down for sorting student work. This comes in handy when you want to quickly get a, a pulse on what student on student progress to see who's turned it in, who's been assigned it, and who's been how and if it has been graded, just so you know if you need to follow up with students on this particular assignment. So to grade student work, you tap on an assignment. Once you get into the assignment, it's going to take you into what is called the grading tool. And you'll see all of the different options you have within that grading tool. Here you're going to be able to review the student work, give some private private comments, some personalized feedback, and you can do some uh, comments directly on the student work. So here's an example of I added a private comment and I can go ahead and post that to the student for the student to see. You can also add comments directly onto student work by going in, tapping on the comments icon, adding a comment, and tapping that. Now it'll add it directly to the student's assignment. You also have an option within Grading Tool to create a comment bank. So any comments that you use frequently, you can add them to this bank, and then when needed, that you can uh, pop up, pop, they'll pop in when you start to type. And you can also just copy and paste them in whenever. Once you've got your comments in, you've given the students feedback, you can add in your grade. Once you've added in a grade, you can determine whether or not you want to return the work to the student by tapping on the return button, or you can return multiple submissions, individually or multiple. Once you grade one student's assignment, a really good workflow is to go back up top to the arrows and toggle between student assignments. Here you can go in and see any other assignments you've completed or graded or reviewed and see which ones you still have yet to review. Once you've gone through all your assignments and you feel comfortable with your feedback and grades, you can return it to students. You can return work to students from the grading tool and you can also return it to them from the student work tab. So once you're here, here's the other option I was saying about you can tap here and hit return as well. So to give you an idea of what this looks like for a student, so here is the student's Google Classroom account. When they go into classwork, you're going to see that they have turned in the assignment, they're not necessarily going to see that they have a grade. It's not really easy for them to see. A good workflow for this is to remind your students to go to their view your work icon. And here they can see what they have been assigned, what they have turned in, and what has been graded. This is a quick look for their progress report for themselves. This kind of helps them to stay on top of their work in a really easy, quick way to see it all laid out for them. Now, now that we're back on the student work tab, you can also give students feedback from here. 
if you have to if you want to send students private comments you can just tap on the name here and add a private comment below you can also go back to the instructions and you can add a class comment so you may have an, an assignment you found the same error on several assignments you can address it here in the class comments because this goes to everyone so you got your class comments and your private ones and that's a good way to streamline student questions and it's also just a good way to check in with them as well if you'd like to see your gradebook as a to-do list you're going to go to your main menu and you're going to see the to-do option so if you tap on that to-do option you're going to see all of your you're going to see all of the assignments that you have in all classes you go to your drop down choose the class that you want to focus on and it will take you to the page that lets you know what needs to be reviewed and what you have reviewed so if you're a person that likes to have a list and you like to check things off this is perfect for you you can go and see all the student work that you have assigned see which ones have been turned in which ones have been assigned and which ones you reviewed once you go through an assignment, you can go here, tap on it, grade it as well. It'll take you to the student work tab, mark it as reviewed once you've done it, and it removes it from your list. So you can kind of go through this and, it can, and use this as another way to uh, streamline your workflow on grading student work. Thanks for watching this tutorial. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode.